Welcome to Online Advantage. I'm Professor Gonzalez. Today we're going to talk about LIFO reserves. So sometimes companies use FIFO for their internal reporting. They may do this because maybe they have bonuses based on net income, and FIFO typically reports a higher net income than does LIFO. But maybe for external reporting, they want to use LIFO. So we have something called LIFO Reserve. The LIFO Reserve is a contra account that we use to record and then disclose in the financial reports. So let's go for, through a calculation. Say a company has inventory at FIFO on their books, which would be on their balance sheet, of $20,000. When they calculate their inventory based on LIFO, it's $15,000. The difference between the two is $5,000. So we need to lower inventory by 5,000. It's on our books at 20, we need to get to 15. But instead of actually lowering the inventory account, we use a contra account called LIFO Reserve. So we're gonna credit it. So I'm gonna credit LIFO Reserve for the 5,000. And the offset account is gonna be cost of goods sold because that's where it would have gone, is to cost of goods sold. So I will debit that account. So that's the adjustment we would make at year end to adjust to LIFO. And on the balance sheet, we actually keep the inventory account at FIFO. So on our balance sheet, the inventory section was just still show inventory using FIFO at the 20,000. Below that would be the LIFO reserve, which again is a contra, so it's gonna show up as a negative for 5,000, and then we net the two to get it to 15,000, which is our inventory at LIFO. And that is how it's disclosed on the balance sheet. Now we're gonna go over LIFO liquidation. Remember LIFO takes the newest costs into cost of goods sold. So the last in are the first ones out. So the most recent costs. That causes a more accurate matching between the sales and the actual cost, because those are the more recent costs. However, from time to time, when a company uses LIFO, if they have a huge number of sales occur, they could be start going into the higher tiers, which are the lower cost items. And when that happens, we have something called LIFO liquidation. LIFO liquidation has to be disclosed in the financial statements if that occurs, and if it's material. So we're just gonna look over a basic example. It really won't be material, but just so you understand the concept. We have beginning inventory of 200 units and they cost $20 per unit. So these are the first ones in. And then we have some purchases of 300 units at $30 per unit. We typically have inflation, so costs are typically rising. And then we sold 400 units. So doing the calculation under LIFO of the sale of the 400 units to figure out our cost of goods sold, we would start here, the last ones in. And so the units would be 300 and we multiply it by the 30 to get 9,000. And then we need to go up to the next tier. So now we're going to the older items to get the other 100. We sold all of these, we're going up to get the other 100 to the older items that are at $20 per unit. So 100 times 20 is 2,000. So our total cost of goods sold under this is now 11,000. First thing we wanna do is recalculate cost of goods sold only using the newer costs. So we're gonna take the 400 units and only calculate it based on 30 instead of going up to the 20. So the 400 times 30 is 12,000. So you can see if we didn't have to go up to the older items, we would have a higher cost of goods sold. So the difference between the two is $1,000. Now, this just has to be disclosed in the financial statements. We don't have to do a journal entry or anything like that. We just have to do a disclosure. The reason is, is because the higher cost of goods sold, if we would have used this, would have created a lower net income. And remember, the information we need to give to investors. And these are just methods. So had we used the, the newer items here, 
for our costing, we would have had a lower net income. Let's just look at how that would have worked. Doing a quick calculation on gross profit. Um, under the current method here, or the current one, we have, if we had sales of 50,000, I'm just gonna make up a number, and we use this cost of goods sold. Remember, we subtract to get gross profit. This would give us a gross profit of $39,000. But if we did it under LIFO, liquid, looking at the LIFO liquidation using the current costs, looking at how gross profit gets affected, still using 50,000 as the sales, and using the 12,000 for cost of goods sold, you can see our profit, subtracting the two, our profit goes down. So that's why it must be disclosed in the financial statements. Thank you very much. I hope that this was helpful for understanding LIFO liquidation.